Okay, so this is what I finished off with in the last video is we want to do two things. Please take note. We can use the principle of vector addition to develop an important procedure, the decomposition of a vector in, into components. So what are the two things? We can either add any two vectors to form a new vector. That's the one thing. Or we can decompose any vector into two component vectors. Do you see the two ideas? We can either take two vectors and add them to form a, 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 a final vector, and what do they call it? A new vector. <laughs> I'm used to the word resultant vector, but they don't use it here. Or we can take a resultant vector and break, break it up into two component vectors. Okay. So for example, vector A can be composed into two component vectors, AX and AY, along the axes of some conveniently chosen set of perpendicular axes, which we call the rectangular coordinate system or, or the Cartesian coordinate system. So here we go. I like pictures again. How do we do it? So remember, you can either add two vectors to get a, a resultant, or you can decompose a vector. So here we have uh, vector A, and, uh, and we choose these two axes, and they're perpendicular. We choose two perpendicular axes. Okay. Then what do we do? Well, we start from the, the, the head, and we drop a line. And what I'd like to basically train you from the beginning is if you want to find the x component, this line has to be parallel to this axis over here. Okay? So you drop a line, and then that becomes your x component. And the same way you drop a, a horizontal line onto the vertical axis to get your y component. So now, you can't include now these three forces. I hope you take note now. You've either got this one, or you've got the two components. You can't, you, if, you, um, if you are beginning to work with these vectors and be beginning to calculate them uh, in a real problem, you can't have these three forces together, right? Because then you, you, you're adding something that's, that you, you're adding too many force vectors. So what you want to do is you either want to have the, the original force, of original vector or you want its components okay so that's why they've got a little cross here you have to replace that one with the components either that force that vector or the components okay and then you can see that um, you can also then add get this final vector by adding up these two components here uh, vectorially a, a x plus a y gives you a Okay.